That's weird. Stop it.
Oh, hello. Hey. How's it going? How was uh, Rocket League? Was it cool? I can't wait to see some clips of Nick failing spectacularly. Just kidding. <laughs> hey Thunder, thanks for the raid. How's everybody doing today? Well, thank you, Thunder. some epic uh, goals. Yesterday, I also took a well-deserved nap, and uh, I'm ready to do another art stream. It's been a while since I've done two in a row, so this is gonna be fun. I um. I decided not to take the neon sign out of its uh, box this time. Normally I have like this little open sign in the background. Maybe I'll take it out later. It's a little chilly where I'm at so I decided to wear a hat that covers more of my ears. So I have this Cthulhu hat that I had gotten at a... a that I had gone out of a vendor from another artist. She uh, created the hats on her own. So I'm supporting another small artist that created things. color so I should be able to <laughs> Seeing as this is a snowy cabin, it might take the longest thing that might take the longest is probably the fence and the cabin itself. But since most of it's gonna be, like the roof is just gonna be white, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna do a silver gray.
the Thunder. I plan on doing Rocket League on Thursday, so you got something to look forward to. I'll be joining you guys next time. I was almost tempted to not stream art today and just join you and Nick, but I didn't. I decided I needed to prep for the art stream instead. Sorry, I might be a little bit, um, I might not talk as much this time around due to the fact that I had burnt my lip yesterday, so it's kind of tender. It still kind of tingles a bit, so I'm not going to talk as much. But normally what I do is I color the piece and I um, explain my thought process on how I arrived at that coloring so you could do it in the future. I feel like people make coloring harder than it is and with some step-by-step -step instruction from, from a color artist my, as myself. You'll be able to, um, hold on. What is going on with this camera? Let me see what it looks like. Adjusting the camera a little bit. I I think that's good. You guys can see, right? I'm still trying to figure out, I'm still kind of learning lighting, despite being a film student for about three, seven years now, lighting is still kind of tricky for me to figure out. There. That's good for now. Yeah, that's good. I just want to go right out and say thank you to anybody who has supported my art and gaming streams. And, uh, it means a lot to me. And, uh, thank you to anybody who's joined the Discord. I know we're a small community right now, but hopefully will grow. We'll never know how big we get in the year. do a double gaming week after the double art week. No, last time I did that, it didn't turn out so good for my channel. So I'm just going to stick with the usual next time. I'm all decked out with my I Am Group shirt. Remember the shirt, dork? <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm gonna turn down the light just a little bit. If you were over at the house, dork, I would have asked you to help me with the lighting of the art, art cam. Is it okay? Can you guys see everything alright? It's not too blurry or dark or light. I need to know these things so I can adjust them in the future. <laughs> part of the tree white because well snowy trees duh and uh I don't have any tacos dork just Mountain Dew Unless you're saying you have tacos. In which case, of course, are you gonna uh, telepathically send me tacos? get around to the Gavin maybe. I know you wanted me to do the, the Gavin. I think I'm gonna color that mostly in colored pencil to avoid any of the finer details getting lost by my uh, marker. Okay, there's the ballpoint color. I need a good balance. I want my hair to peak, perk out, but I also don't want you guys to not be able to see the eyeballs. That balloon dog over there is making me think that I should do a different colored one. If you guys were to pick a different colored balloon dog that I should do, what color? Rainbow, blue, green, possibilities are endless. 
and if you guys are wondering what my obsession is with uh, balloon dogs, they're just cute. <laughs> Cause I was thinking of maybe doing like, if I, if I do like, if I do like three or four of them, then I can do like an Andy Warhol type thing where I have them in different colors and then I can put it on a t-shirt and uh, sell it <laughs> and I won't get copyright claimed by any like licensing thing because the balloon dogs are technically my design. <laughs> Yes. Your dog. Oh, you have a dog. What's your dog's name? Sumo. <laughs> I like, I still think it's funny that if you don't, if you don't learn, if you don't learn a uh, Sumo's name, it's just, he, Connor's just like, hey there, dog. <laughs> I just, I, I, when I went back to replay some levels, I purposely, I purposely, uh, missed the dog hair thing so that I wonder what would happen if you didn't learn Suno, Sumo's name. And it was kind of hilarious. I don't know. I don't know why, but the color balance between me and the, um, and you guys must be different because my monitor has my artwork looking really, 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 really light, like, too bright. Speaking of dogs, if you guys hear any whining or something in the background, I have my dogs with me, so. Pearl seems to be okay during this stream, but I shouldn't jinx it. Now I'm no Bob Ross, but I try my best. <laughs> I actually have a Bob Ross coloring book. Maybe during one of the art streams one of these days I'll color a Bob Ross coloring page. Bob Ross is definitely one of my influences when it comes to color and the whole philosophy of art. I always go, art is supposed to be relaxing and fun, you know? Just put the trees where they want to go. You know? Just happy accidents. Hey, Running Meats! What's up? Oh, yeah. The trait in 4K. Didn't they already do Detroit in 4K for the PC version, though? Pretty sure they did. I don't know. Um, I'm working on a snowy cabin that I might move on to, um, a Gavin portrait that I did not too long ago. And then maybe another coloring. It really depends on how long this will take. Really. Ideally, I try to get at least three colorings done in a stream. Because since people have to wait so long for a stream, I try to make it worth the wait, you know? A lot of people have to wait until they, until like five, five days in between a stream because I'm like, um, because I post my line art first, right? That's what I do. I post my line art, uh, and then I color it on a stream, and then I share my completed work on... And then 
I share my completed work with um, people on Twitter. So. I always tell people that if they don't care about the streaming updates and they just want to see the pictures, it's better to follow me on Instagram. But if you want to know about the follow updates, the history, the uh, future of this channel, and all that stuff, it's better to follow me on Twitter. Also, you know, it's where you guys are, right? The people of the Connor Army. It's where you guys go to mingle. Honestly, if it weren't for that, I would have quit Twitter like a year ago. If it weren't for the Connor Army, I would have. I don't have a Twitter command yet. But, um, one of these days. We need it. Like I said, Thunder, this channel is very unorganized. I need to add a lot more commands than I have, than I have you know? So, you know, this channel is all about chill art vibes and chill gaming vibes, or at least I try to be chill. There are a few moments where I rage during my gaming streams, but not that often. And, um... It's also where I post uh, previous work of people who haven't seen it before. You know, I do art shares a lot, or I don't, I don't host any art shares per se. But I, art shares are basically where other artists can share off, share their work to another artist, and if it's successful, you know, you'll get followers out of it. But you see, people... I'm fine, I was just sleeping. And, um, I was prepping. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people don't like it when I post my, my work in progresses. Because they're just black and white line art. Some people like link. Some people like ink line arts, and some people would rather see the finished product, you know? And to that I say, that is silly to me. Because you see, I'm following artists that all they do is ink work, you know? And those artists are really good. Some people think that just because something's in black and white that it's not good. You know? And that's a silly mentality to have. There are many good films that are in black and white. Such as... Such as, um... It's a Wonderful Life. The old Frankenstein and Dracula movies. Vincent Price movies? Come on. Where's my silver? Sorry. It might take a while to find my colors because I keep all my art supplies in this huge, huge tub. <laughs> so finding a color might take a while. <laughs> By the way, Thunder. Is it focusing? I have so many pins that I've gotten from cons. I plan on putting a... I, I plan on putting it on a huge bulletin board so you guys can see all the pins in the future. I have some Detroit pins. I have the Jacksepticeye charity pins. 
I thought I donated for all 12 months, but it turns out I was missing three months or something. Still, eight, ten months of charity. Not bad. Where is my metallic? Sorry, guys. Looks like I'm raging right now. So much for chill art vibes. <laughs> God, look at this mess. I really need to learn how to organize better. Yeah. I was thinking pen board because all the time, like I tried to, um, You know, Twitter's where we can, where you can uh, see my artworks as they, um, as they're in progress, and we can uh, chat about games and things like that. I don't mean to like. Want a break from the ads? If you tap now to watch a short video. Hold on, sorry. Ad. Um, I don't mean to, like, seem like I'm pandering, but it's important. Yes, I'll watch the ad. Just shut up. Oh, I still have Fall Guys on. Oh, don't worry. What I usually do is, um... What I usually do is, uh, after my stream, Nick and I usually play a few games together, but he might be a little bit tired after the stream. I don't know. Will you still be up for playing a few rounds of Fall Guys with me, dork? Oh, and Running Meats? I have a, uh, I have a Discord, too. I just started, um, well, technically I've had the Discord since this channel began back in 2011. Technically this channel is as old as Twitch, because I just wanted to secure the fire crystal at the time. So I didn't really use it for years and years and years and years. <laughs> and then the Connor Army happened, and I had a reason to watch Twitch. <laughs> and I had a reason to stream, because... I wasn't, I didn't really stream on Twitch until 2018. I used to stream on YouTube. Oh, thank you. You know, it's just to make sure people get what they, get updates when they want real time. I know that waiting for a video is nerve-wracking, especially when I do two things at once, and some people, you know, if you want the art and gaming updates, I usually say what game I'm gonna play. Like, today I said I'm gonna play Rocket League on Thursday. Thursday's my game night. Why Thursday? No specific reason. No, no, there was a reason. There was a reason. Um, back in, um, back when everything was normal, I had, um, I had school from Monday, on Monday, Wednesday, and so I couldn't do Tuesday, so I had Tuesday and Thursday off, and I guess now I could stream... For, I can stream more often if I wanted to. I'm just afraid people will be annoyed. It's like, art gaming stream, art gaming streams. Like, we get it. You're streaming more. <laughs> you know? You know? And then... My plan is, if I get, 
enough coloring pieces, colored pieces in the future that we might, I might release an art book of all the drawings that I colored on the stream at a convention. But that's just something I was thinking about. Yeah. I recently got Blue's art book and I can't wait for it to come to my door so I can so I can be obsessed with it and show my mom and like, oh, look at all the artworks Blue has done. Isn't it amazing? She's so talented. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew that I, there have been many artists that I have followed over the years that I thought about getting art books for, but I always missed out thinking, oh, maybe they'll do another run at another time. <laughs> eh. Every artist goes at their own pace. Just like everybody completes a game at their own pace, you know? I'm still working on Unravel. I haven't I haven't given up on streaming Unravel, but what I usually do is I watch like a walkthrough for hard games so I can get a feel of what to do beforehand so I don't make a, myself look like an idiot on a stream. I know people want to go in blind, but sometimes that's not the smartest move. Because then I end up recording a four-hour stream. <laughs> so I, uh, so I recently changed my schedule for a couple of reasons. One, I wasn't making it to the six o'clock time. And I don't want people to, like, wait around for hours and hours. And just say, oh, I guess she's not doing a video today. You know what I mean? I don't want to piss people off with my inconsistency. So. I don't know. Alright. That's okay. You'll join us on Thursday, right? Unless you're getting tired of Rocket League. <laughs> but, uh, if you guys play Rocket League, I have a Rocket League club. And as soon as I figure out how to put the Rocket League club code into my information thing, I will put it in the, in the info so that people can join without, so that people can join without uh, asking me <laughs> where it is because I'm trying to figure it out. I need, I need to look it up on tutorials but I know there's a way to share your club code. Yeah. In case you guys don't know what that is, Rocket League is just kind of uh, car soccer. And it's insanely fun to watch and to play. And most Rocket League players will admit that it takes more luck than skill. But there are a lot of skilled people that do all these insane stunts. All I know how to do is flip around and maybe turn my car 360 degrees if I'm lucky. <laughs> But yeah, I've been doing art shares lately because the algorithm is not very kind to artists and I really want to do more game-centric stuff on my Twitter as well, but I don't know what to say that hasn't already been said about games, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you should join Running Meets. It's fun. 
And more often than not, sometimes we don't even stream on the club. I could do a little, I could do a little poll to see who would actually want to be on a stream, or if they just want to play Rocket League with me. Either way. Yeah. It's true. And I was getting, I was getting good at competitive, and then I hadn't played for a couple weeks, so then I went down four levels. I am determined to get back into gold. I got in back, I was in gold one for the longest time. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna play when I'm half asleep. And I just got demolished by all these people. Normally I play casual and work my way up to competitive. But the other night I was like, I was like, oh yeah, let's just go in blindly. <laughs> yeah, Rocket League is free to play now. That's okay. We're not very good either. <laughs> I'd say I'm decent at Rocket League, despite having streamed it for about four years. I can't do all those insane, like, flying tricks that everybody seems to be able to do. I don't know, maybe I'm just not getting it. We have clips of us playing in the Rocket League Club if you want to see how bad it was. <laughs> you know? I'd like to say I get lucky more than anything else. I am kind of skilled at Rocket League, but I think most of the time I won because I was too stubborn to lose. <laughs> I actually have Battlefront, but I have the disc version, so I'd have to download it onto my system, and I'm just not sure it's for me, you know? Nick got it for my dad, but he didn't really think when he got it because my dad is not really a console player. <laughs> But, yeah. Um, Rocket League is just... Rocket League has been part of my channel for pretty much ever. Rocket League was the first game that I streamed on the channel. So it's kind of important to keep it in my uh, channel. Um, the second game that I streamed on the channel was actually Detroit. That was back when I transferred from YouTube to Twitch. And, uh, I just feel like Twitch has been more kind to me. YouTube, my streams would get lost in the algorithm, and no one would see them. And then I recently did Pro Skater, and I'm kind of decent at Pro Skater, but there are moments where I had fallen six times in a row. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, um, I almost, I'm almost platinumed it, you know? I almost platinumed it. I, all I have to do is play Mission Connor storyline, and I think I'm pretty much 100%ed it. And then I also have to do the I'll Be Right Back playthrough. We're just basically killing Connor the entire time. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> But yeah, I do a mixture of art and games on this channel. Um, I just put art at the end so that people know that what my where my real talent is. It's like I am decent at video games, but and video games are kind of my identity. I used to play video games at home instead of going out with friends because I didn't have any growing up. The amount of hours I would clock in playing one-on-one -on -one tournaments by myself 
with Rise of the Ninja <laughs> was just <laughs> I have the Naruto Storm games. I have like one through three and I haven't played them yet. I should stream those eventually. The thing about Naruto games is they can be hard. Like, you laugh, but anime games tend to have a lot of strategy and fighting skills involved. You know? <laughs> And I'm not gonna say I'm terribly bad at strategy. In fact, that's most of how I won my Rocket League matches was I would try to strategize my move before making them. But, uh, sometimes, sometimes I'm a bit of a ball chaser. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's much easier to just charge at the ball than it is to think things through sometimes. <laughs> People hate ball chasers. Myself included. Are you guys seeing everything okay? Ball chasers are when they just go at the ball blindly and they don't have a strategy and they don't think about their teammates, basically. You know, they just sort of go, oh, who cares about these people? I'm gonna go off on my own. Sometimes ball chasers even hit their own teammates. I cannot tell you how many times I got demolished by a teammate just because I tried to go for the ball. And they constantly say in chat, chat, I got it. I got it. You know? Yeah, I try to be a good teammate, but sometimes, you know, when you're streaming, you want to take all the glory for yourself, you know? <laughs> it's like I want my chat to know I'm super good at this game, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> no, it's a good ego boost when you do good on a stream. <laughs> playing Rocket League for a while because the community can be fun and heartwarming and I do like watching Rocket League streamers like Musty and Sunless Khan and John Sandman. They have been around like forever and sometimes I imagine myself as an RES player you know, doing championships and wearing a jersey and all that. I just don't think it will ever happen. And if it does, I'll give you a quarter. <laughs> exactly. I do have fun, Thunder. Rocket League is definitely one of my guilty pleasure games. I will admit that it has its problems, like server, server loading problems and stuff like that, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I love Rocket League, warts and all. excited when I actually got to make it to a chill curiosity and chill stream you know I was I was so happy you know cuz normally normally Brian streams the curiosity and chill streams at like 10 a.m. for me and 10 a.m. 
after streaming most of the night can be pretty exhausting. <laughs> so more often than not, I don't really make it to the chill curiosity streams. You know? So I was excited I actually got to make it. Now I have a big urge to draw a big cat. Maybe a lion or a cheetah. Because normally, you know, the artists of the Connor Army community draw whatever they were talking about to prove they were actually there. I'm not saying I have to do that, but sometimes I feel like I could be more active in the community. But I'm so busy trying to build my own, you know? Oh my god, that's my dog's. My dogs are snoring. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> it kind of freaked me out at first. Do you guys think I should bring out my neon sign? <laughs> it feels kind of weird without it, huh? You're so used to having the open sign in the background. I found the coolest, I found the coolest neon sign on Amazon. It's a flames. And I kind of want to get it because, you know, fire crystal. It was the cat's nose. <laughs> Gotta love our animals. lighting. The lighting for the last stream was atrocious. I'm sorry about the bad lighting yesterday. I fixed it. There was like some kind of off color going on. I'm experimenting with lighting to see what works and what doesn't. You know? Sorry. I'm going through an experimental light stage. Getting a little obsessed with buying lights. Even my mom is like, don't you think you have enough lights? And I go, no! <laughs> it's not a phase, mom. You don't get it. Streamers like their neon lights, damn it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I loved it. Sorry, I kind of disappeared after a while. I was trying to prep for the stream. But I hosted you. I want people to know that my mods are awesome streamers, too. Yes, that includes you, dork. You're a streamer now. Deal with it. <laughs> Stop. that um, I'm gonna do a dark blue for the background. This feels like a nighttime piece to me.
Well, I'm a streamer for fun, so that makes you a streamer. <laughs> you think I'm making money off of any of this? No. I'm not making money out of any of this. All this hard work and effort is just for fun. And some people would call that crazy. Some people ask why I even bother doing it if I'm not getting paid, and I say, because I like sharing my art with everybody. Because I like playing games and being silly. That's why. Because I wanted to make friends, and I'm not good at making friends in real life. So why not the internet? <laughs> You know, all you guys are my buddies. You're my pals. That includes you lurkers who are too afraid to comment. I was the same way for a while. I cannot tell, me, tell you how many times it took me to gain the courage to talk in Brian's stream. Because for the first... To even follow. For the first, like... For the first four months. Actually, no. Three months. For the first three months of watching Brian, I didn't hit follow until, like, three months in. So technically, I think I'm supposed to be subscribed for 28 months instead of 26, but... I was... So nervous, you know? And then, last year, I decided to actually make friends in the Discord. So I talked to people instead of just posting my art, because that's what I used to do. And now I feel like if I hadn't said anything, it would probably still be, you know. We'll never know. almost done then we can do a lava break about it anymore because I'm starting to tear myself up again just thinking about it. Yeah. from Stream Elements yesterday that I was streaming. Normally it says Stream Elements Fire Crystal Wine 2 Art is live, but that didn't happen yesterday.
have been getting worse I noticed I used to get notifications for when Brian was live right off the bat even without being in the discord and now it just seems like I only get that's why I made sure that Brian was the top on my host list so I'd always know he's live because he's the I have it listed by priority so I've added a lot of more Connor army members into my host list, like, like, um, Emmy is gaming, Devi, and all these other people, but, uh, because they're kind of in priority order, I don't always get when they're alive. Maybe I should just do it by random, but then I won't have Brian immediately when he goes live, so... I have a lot of different streaming people. I have music streamers in my, I have music streamers in my host list. I have artists in my host list. I have gamers in my host list. You know, to make sure that people get different variety for when I'm offline. But I feel like they prioritize the gamers more. I don't know, we'll see. can be tricky because even even some discord servers that I'm in where I have it set to all notifications some of them are so big that they automatically have to set it for mentions only there are a couple of, there are a couple of streams that are um, discords that are like that Hopefully we'll get to play again some other time. Remember, we gotta play Fall Guys so we can get better at that map, Big Fans. I I actually passed it, Thunder. I passed Big Fans like three times. I know I made a fool of myself the other time when I streamed it. I have some good news. We might have enough people in the Discord to do Among Us now. 
I've been wanting to play Among Us for ages. They actually signed up to be part of one of Debbie's sessions, but I slept through my time. I felt so ashamed. I was like, I fell asleep. So I've never actually played Among Us yet. I'm probably going to be super bad at it. But. I have it on my phone. So what would happen is I'd have to point the camera down on my phone. And, uh, because I don't have a... Yeah. I play Fall Guys because it's something everybody can do. The characters are cute and cartoony and wacky and I love racing games and mini games so it's like a match made in heaven for me but I understand why some people might be tired of it. You know? Because of the server crashes. Honestly, even Rocket League servers crash every now and then. I cannot tell you how many times I've had low latency problems streaming Rocket League. Even when my connection was supposedly good. You know what I mean? People act like server crashes are mutually exclusive to Fall Guys, but it happens all the time. And when Brian started playing it, I thought it was going to be like another community thing similar to Animal Crossing. Where it would just be ridiculous though. We'd have to get all the fans PSNs. And there's no guarantee they'll end up in the same game unless they party up. You know? I was hoping that they'd announce the Deckard December prompts, but looks like that's not going to be happening for a while. Maybe they're going to announce it on the next uh, chill stream. You know, I was almost tempted back when it was available to play the Rocket League until I got the Battle Bus, even though I haven't really streamed Fortnite that much. I like buses. I think that's the only thing I liked about Fortnite was the fact that you rode on a bus in the air. And I could make uh, magic school bus jokes. <laughs>
Excuse me. Zoom tight. <laughs> Or get in there. Then we can move on to the angry boy. Okay, music's back on. Now I like to think that this is my happy hat. I know I can't move around like Amelia's, but I like to think that when I wear this hat, you know, sometimes it's good to be a little silly. I kind of almost want to get those cat headphones that I see girl streamers wear. Because I really do like cats. <laughs> Definitely Cthulhu. This is a Cthulhu hat. The person who I got it from, the vendor, uh, it was at a um, Winterfest, Winterfest um, event at a... Um, at a amusement park. This lady, she knitted a bunch of different hats, but this one called out to me the most. Although there was a really cute kitty hat at the moment. I almost got two. And what else can I say about this? The craftsmanship is amazing and it feels nice. Like, my ears feel like they're protected. I don't feel cold at all.
Yeah. I'm not patient enough to knit. I think if I were to do anything crafty on this stream, it will probably be tie-dye shirts. <laughs> because I like tie-dye shirts. And they're not that hard to make. You just put them in a tie-dye maker, you add some dye, and you watch the colors just sort of swirl around. to be more I want to be more crafty but here's the thing a lot of craft stuff a lot of craft stuff right that costs a lot of money because craft stores are expensive I feel like uh, shh, girl. that's the problem you know if I get like I kind of want to paint my own ornaments, but those wooden ornaments cost probably about eight bucks each at a craft store. That, and once I get into the art craft grind, it's hard to get me to stop, because my family would take me to the craft store and I'd want to go back every like two to three weeks because I had so much fun looking around at everything. on YouTube. His name is Jazza and he just started, um, he just created another art box. He technically made three art boxes in one to get the whole pack. It's only about 10, 100 bucks. I'm sure each box is probably worth way more than he, he even said you are, you have thousands of art supplies worth of art supplies in just a hundred dollars. So that sounds like a pretty big deal but for me a set of pens cost about 80 60 to 80 bucks each if I get multiple so I can't really afford that but I would have totally bought one of Jazzy's art boxes Sorry, my dog's getting antsy. She hates it when I stream. She, like, was always trying to push me out of the way of my art project. sided markers they can cost up to 30 to 60 bucks if you buy so a, one set is just 
around 30 bucks, and that's plus tax. And then I usually get multiple so I can stock up so that I don't have to go to the uh, craft store for another few months. So I usually get like three of these, and that's about a hundred bucks. You see why people say you probably won't get any money being an artist? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there are cheaper versions that you can get on Amazon. Heck, probably for the price that you get for handling it in the craft store, you can probably get half the price. But, that really depends. I don't know. I just prefer going to the craft store other than than ordering on Amazon because I know that my stuff was handled with care, you know? With Amazon, sometimes you don't know if it's gonna come to your door in perfect condition. And I don't know, someone's gotta keep the businesses running, right? Especially now, with the pandemic happening. There's probably some food places that will never be able to open again. And that's a shame. It's like, I usually go out and pick up something. I don't normally use DoorDash. Or any of that other stuff. So I think I'd be most affected if one of my favorite food places got out of business. I just moved here. I just moved to where I'm at so I don't really have a favorite food place yet. And... But, um, uh, yeah. Getting close to the end of this piece. I just need to uh, shade in some more details. Here, let me get my.
black pen. This is so that you guys can tell they're snowflakes and not just random silver dots that I put there. Thank you, Thunder. Weird.
Alright, um, I think we're gonna move on to the next piece. I think most of what I have to do now is a simple retouch. Why not do this guy? Since we were talking about sewed on stuff earlier. coloring this one. But yeah, I just thought about doing like another balloon dog because, I don't know, balloon dogs are cute. And I figured if I do enough multicolored ones, I could do like an Andy Warhol style shirt. So I do a green balloon dog. And stuff like that. patient. <laughs> Can you say hi to everyone? Can you say hi? Can you say I like dogs? Can you say I like dogs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Pearl. Sorry. Yeah. She's a Border Collie Schnauzer Australian Shepherd mix. So she's a She's a mixed mash of different breeds. color than the skin of his hair than his hair because you know contrast and uh, it will stand out better so I'm gonna use metallic uh, rusty I guess it's bronze if you want to be technical Yeah, I love Pearl, but she can be a bit of a pain sometimes. She didn't used to cause a scene during my streams, but lately, you know, she's been, she's not used to being cooped up so much. I need to take her on a walk.
you guys still there? It says my counter is one. That's weird. I swear sometimes Twitch has these glitches. went from like three to one and it freaked me out a little bit. I was like, oh my god, what happened? Did I say something wrong? You can never tell. Oh. Oh, okay. It is Sackboy. It's Sackboy Connor. I'm glad that everybody got it. That's what I was going for. It's like, yes! I've never done Sackboy before. Let alone as someone else. Maybe I should have started with regular Sackboy. It'd be funny to do a Sackboy of all the different uh, cast members of Detroit. What would Sackboy Gavin look like? You'd have to put like a scar over here, over the bridge between the eyes. She told me about the Sackboy Connor. I did not pre-order the game on the PS5, so sadly, if I get Sackboy, I'm not gonna get Connor Boy over here. Yeah, maybe send it to the developers. Maybe they'll extend the DBH pet cast. Originally, I was gonna, uh, the video the reference video I used had Connor actually like twirling a big coin and I was gonna originally draw the coin. It's not about how far apart. Whew, that scared me. Okay. The ads come out of nowhere sometimes. I don't know how to prepare for them. One minute I'm listening to chill music and the next minute you can get a plan for Verizon Wireless. I'm like, One minute, I'm listening to chill art vibes, and the next minute, CHAOS! <laughs> I was actually inspired, um, I'm actually inspired to do the little sack characters in, uh, in the Jackbox game Murder Party. I actually got, like, a, uh, photo reference of all the different, uh, voodoo dolls from Murder Party. And I just thought it'd be fun to draw those. I don't know why. I'm not usually into creepy things, but voodoo dolls somehow... I'm somehow attracted to getting some. 
know, they're kind of cute and creepy at the same time. You know? I don't know, maybe it's just me that think voodoo dolls are creepy and cute. Yeah. I remember uh, there's this there was this art challenge that I did back in August. It's called August, where you draw a, a ghost for an entire month. And one of the things that the one of the prompts I think was um, creepy or or was it thread? And I decided to do a creepy ghost voodoo doll, and I had one of the eyes pop out. So it was kind of a cute voodoo doll, but kind of twisted, I don't know. I like all kinds of different art. One of my favorite art streamers, his name is Artsy Fartsy, and he does kind of that uh, street graffiti grotesque art, you know? Basically, if you're not over 18, you probably shouldn't follow him, but, uh, he's pretty good. He's kind of loud if you're not used to loud streamers, but I kind of like that. We actually have the same last name, but we're not related. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not. Maybe we're, like, distant ancestry cousins for all I know. But, uh, Mackenzie is a pretty common last name. So, we probably share no relation, but he's a pretty good streamer. If you like a grotesque street art, graffiti art, I'd definitely give him a follow. I follow him sometimes. Um, I, I watch him sometimes. Sometimes he's streaming during a time when I'm taking a nap, so. He does this thing called Fart School, where he does, uh, where he does, uh, weekly art challenges. And you can have, you can get a chance to be featured on the stream. He actually made a quilt out of all the different artists that featured in fart school and I was one of them. You could actually get the quilt with one of my artworks on it. Which is actually pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna play the music again. Hey! What's up? How are you? Hi everyone, I do art and games. Um, Thursday is game night and um, we're gonna be playing Rocket League so hope you're ready for that. And then maybe next week we'll do, um, we'll do Fall Guys again. I kind of want to take a break between Pro Skater, Rocket League, and then Fall Guys. I kind of want to do a rotation, you know? One of these days I will play Ghost of Ashima. I will. I bought it so that I could play it. I also have Cuphead. I plan on playing those games at some point, I swear. I just need to find a good time, you know? I was thinking about doing Among Us. Um, I have a Discord. Um, if um, if a lot more people join in, we can do more community stuff like marbles or Jackbox. Me and Nick, one of my mods, played Murder Party a couple weeks ago and I had fun with that. I just wish there were more people who joined in on the fun, you know? <laughs> But 
but yeah. I do iron games on this channel. Normally I yeah. normally I do one art art video and one gaming video a week, but for some reason I end up streaming uh the night art the night before because I had forgotten well, it was Monday. But normally I stream on Tuesday and Thursday. So hopefully I won't stream an extra day unless people like the idea of having two art days or I tried to extend my streaming days but people my experiment failed <laughs> a couple weeks ago I did two I did one day where I did one art video or two art videos and then I did one week where I did two gaming videos it was hard to tell what people would like you know But yeah, I'd love to do Among Us at some point. Especially since I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. And, um... I've thought about joining other people's sessions, but I feel like I should do a session of my own first. Reacting videos? The problem with reacting videos is that oftentimes there's a copyrighted copyrighted music or that the footage itself is copyrighted I just don't want to get in trouble <laughs> but I might be open to it I don't know if I have the right setup to do a reaction video I think what could be fun is Mad Libs. So, hold on. Sorry. I think what could be fun is uh, Mad Libs. Because Mad Libs are cool because you guys could write down random stuff. And I can add it to the story. And then we could see what kind of wacky story we end up creating. Like, once upon a time there was a... And then blank. And then we fill in the blanks together. And then I read it out loud, and I can react to your guys' story. <laughs> like, we could try making our- we could try different templates before making our own, but it'd be cool to create some DBH-related ones. It's like, once upon a time, Connor went to... and then blank, blank, and then we could fill in the blank for that. But yeah. I want to do more community related stuff. Um, I tried running marbles, but for some reason it won't run on my laptop. So I'll probably have to get a different laptop if I want to do marbles. Which is a shame, really. Because I, like I like doing marble. I like participating in marble. Uh, marble. Marble streams because it's not really about skill, you know, it's about watching your ball go down the chute and whoever wins wins, you know? You some and we can laugh at uh some people call it rigged sometimes. It's like it's rigged. I kind of like to experiment with different um, art styles on here. I plan on maybe doing paintings in the near future. I'm more of an ink artist, but the idea of working with acrylic or watercolor would be a fun idea. I also do some graphic edits, but unfortunately the program that I use, I can't really stream it. One of these days I'll figure it out. Yeah. But if you guys got any gaming suggestions, maybe I'll start a gaming suggestion, uh, suggestion box in the Discord. 
so that, you know, I'm more of a casual player though, so have mercy on my soul. I somehow managed to look cool during casual Rocket, uh, I somehow managed to look cool during ranked Rocket League, but that's because I've been playing Rocket League for a while. <laughs> so I'm able to roll with the punches, so to speak. A game I really want to play is, uh, Tabs. Totally accurate battle simulator. Because, um, you can just, uh, you know, pick random, like, I want you, I want to see what happens if you combine a Norse warrior with a, with a cheerleader. Who would win? I mean, obviously the Norse warrior, but it would still be funny to watch. <laughs> Yeah. And obviously I want to try a little big planet. It looks like it might be a fun game to play. I want to try playing a sack boy. I swear I must be getting buffed just from carrying this thing up and down. It is surprisingly heavy. You would think that pens and pencils couldn't possibly have so much weight, but when you have a huge tub like this, I think it's worth at least 10 pounds. <laughs> I always thought that Connor's jacket was like black, but his jacket is actually silver. It's like a silver, it's like a silver black, you know? I lift a fat cat over my head in deadlifts, it doesn't help my mouth. <laughs> Sometimes I carry Pearl around like a baby. She hates it. Sometimes I twirl her around while I'm while I have her in my arms and she freaks out. She's like trying to get out of my hold, but I'm too strong. So she's just like she's just like, let me go! Let me go, human. But yeah, 
I have a lot of plans for this channel, both gaming and art-wise, and I'm willing to try different things and explore different ideas. Like, did you know I've never done, I've never played D&D before? But my sister loves D&D, &D, and she's trying to convince me to get into it. Maybe we can start our a campaign of our own. It probably won't be as grand as the Golden Spiral, but at least it will be something. Plus it will give me an excuse to draw my character Fire Crystal as like a druid or wizard or something. <laughs> yep. I always, I always ask my sister, she's like, what would you be if you were to play D&D? &D? And I said, well, is there like a wizard warrior person? She's like, oh yeah, a druid. It's like, then I'll be that. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. It takes a steady hand to do what I do. That's why it's important that I should probably cut down my drawing the amount of time I draw. I draw like six to nine drawings a day and sometimes my hand shakes when I go for too long. New advanced night repair with Gosh darn it. Sorry guys. I swear one of these days I will fork over the money for some kind of premium thing so that you guys don't have to listen to ads. We've already listened to enough ads. Thank you. I can't wait to post it tomorrow. I hope everybody loves it because this is taking a lot longer than you than I would think. Let's see red red Thank you for stopping by. It's nice having you. Tell your friends. We need more friends in here. I'm trying to spread the word out to the rest of the car army, but I feel like I'm making progress. Over here. Got any suggestions for the background color, Thunder? I feel like I've done purple way too much lately. I need to mix it up. So, red, 
yellow, orange, blue. Possibilities are endless, really. I just think it's that this guy needs some color in the background. Yeah, blue's good. Good idea, Thunder. I mean, what goes better with Detroit characters than the color blue? I think I might try to draw the Miles from the video game. As opposed to, I did Spider-Verse Miles not too long ago. It would be cool to try to draw. The best thing about the video game Miles is he's more to scale to what humans actually look like. Mom's like, oh, we were watching Jack play Miles the other day and Mom's like, oh, Miles looks, Miles looks more grown up. You know? And I'm like, that's what normal teenagers look like. And I think it's because he's, um... I think it's because he's older in the game. Because in the movie, in, in Into the Spider-Verse, he's about 13, maybe 14. And in the game, he looks like he's about 15 or 16. So... Maybe even 17. I don't know, he looks older, somehow. Yeah, that makes sense. Or maybe do, maybe do all three versions of Miles just doing like a fist bump or a high five. You know, like do comic Miles and then into the Spider-Verse. There's this uh, YouTube creator that I watch that he does, um... He does different character. He does the same character in different styles. I think it'd be fun to try to draw Miles in different styles. We can vote on what styles you'd want me to try. Maybe some styles I've done before. Maybe some styles I haven't tried before. That'd be a cool idea. So far so good. It doesn't look like we got any spam messages this time. Last time there was like two bots that were in chat that just kept spamming almost all the time. I was like, what's going on? And <laughs> Do you think it would look cool if you had like an after shadow? Do you know what that means? It means like you could do like a character with a little outline shadow in the background with a different color. 
Okay, Thunder. What time is it? 10.22. Let's see, I said I'd go for 8 till 11. Because lately I've been doing like 4 hour streams and that's just not good for my wrists. So, let's see. We're almost done, I guess. I'll have to save Gavin for next week. But I will color that Gavin. Especially since I'm in uh, Neil's Discord. I think it'd be funny to share it with the other Chaos crew. And next week, I am definitely bringing out my neon light again. I didn't feel like doing it today. Normally, I take the open sign out of the box. I place it on the on the shelf behind me, and I try to place it meticulously so it could be seen on the camera. <laughs> but today, I didn't feel like it. I feel like I'm just tired. Yeah. Now what color? That's the question. What color should be the after shadow? Probably purple. I need to learn how to do more colors besides purple and blue. Maybe red. Because Detroit, I'm human. Duh. So red. This. There you go, after shadow. Man, that was cool. Okay. Bob point black pen. this coloring and then I hope to see you guys on uh, Thursday for game night I'm gonna be playing Rocket League with um, Thunder and uh, my other mod Nick if you'd like to join my Rocket League club I'll uh, find a way to uh, share the club link in my info section in the near future because I play Rocket League a lot <laughs> Especially after an art stream. I like to chill out and play some games after a long days of work. I burnt my lip the other day. I don't know if you can tell. Oh man, it still hurts.
Be careful around hot stuff, kids. Don't be eager to bite into something like I was. I was like, I'm so hungry. I'm tempted to do a big cat because Brian talked about big cats today on the Curiosity stream. I feel like I want to try to draw a tiger, because I've never drawn a tiger before. Well, other than tigress. But tigress is kind of anti-empymorphic. Man, I want to go watch Kung Fu Panda now. <laughs> in a kind of creepy way. <laughs> Or I should try drawing those flat, flathead cats because they were adorable. I was like, aww. My personal favorite wild cat is the serval because they can jump real high. I remember, um, during a school assembly when I was a little kid, a uh, wildlife preserve, I think, came by and showed us all a bunch of different wild animals. And I got to see how a serval jumped. It's kind of crazy that they trusted people to bring wild animals to a school. But, you know, there were safety precautions there just in case. Yeah. And then after this, I'm going to try to get some dinner myself because I mostly just had a cup of instant mac and cheese before the stream. I like easy mac is good, but... but it doesn't really help my appetite in the long run. Thank you, Thunder.
I had a blast on the stream. Normally, normally I get kind of bored after a while. Not that coloring my art is boring. It's just sometimes when there isn't anybody to hang out with, you know, it feels kind of, you know, dull. And I feel like lately people have been coming in and it makes me feel good, you know? I'm like, I feel like I'm not alone, you know? Because for me, drawing alone is painful sometimes. As an introvert, I love being alone. But sometimes, you know, I gotta have other people's company. I'm getting kind of hyped up for Cyberpunk. I mean, I was kind of excited for it before I found out Brian and Amelia were going to be in it. But now I really want to get it. I don't normally have that about games. Normally I'm like, eh, I'll wait until it gets on sale. But for this one, I was like, I have to get it now. Same with Miles. I got it as soon as it came out. But... I probably won't be able to play it for a little while because I still got to finish Spider-Man. In fact, I probably am going to do a series on Spider-Man soon. I had done... I had done a few videos of Spider-Man in the past, but that was back when my channel was still new, right? I don't have... I didn't have as many people as I do now. So... There was only, there was only, uh, three videos. I only did three episodes. So I might go back and record Spider-Man. Just know that the first few streams, when I first learned how to play a game, I kind of suck. So, prepare for the first two streams to be slightly clumsy until I figure out the mechanics of the game. <laughs> true for everybody. Don't we all have our periods when we're trying to adjust to a game and we just suck? <laughs> Embrace the suck. What's that from again? I know it's from something. It's killing me. What's on the... What is... It was like a movie or something. What was it that said embrace the suck? I'll figure it out. I'll have to look it up. It's killing me to... It's like on the tip of my tongue. Was it like a high school movie? I don't think it was Mean Girls, was it? I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. Is it just me or is, did my voice just crack there? <clears throat> so, I drew a couple of miraculous sketches, so I might do some Ladybug and Cat Noir stuff. I might even uh, create my own miraculous original character. What I imagine Fire would look like with a miraculous. I imagine, let's see, maybe Salamander. Maybe the miraculous that she would use as a necklace or something. 
It'd be fun to draw a transformation sequence. I kind of drew, I kind of redrew Cat Noir's uh, transformation sequence in a comic book strip. I had a blast doing that. And I thought about doing Marinette slash Ladybug, but her transformation sequence is a little bit fancier than Cat Noir's. So it might be harder to draw because she's got like those gymnastics flips going on. I don't know. It's a shame we won't get season four until like February of 2021 maybe. And then I'm waiting for Lucifer. I'm waiting for Lucifer season five part two. I want more Tom Holland, uh, not Tom Holland. I need more t Tom Ellis in my life. <laughs> then there are a couple of animes I want to try out. Um, people said I should check out Dr. Stone. Because they said, oh, if you like my Hero Academia and uh, Black Clover and stuff. You could like Dr. Stone. Like, yeah. I might check it out. Okay, um. I kind of like. Stranger Things, and I think that, uh, I think Eleven is super badass, and I can't wait to see more of it. It's not normally the thing I go for. I don't normally go for the slow build-up horror thing. I'm not a huge fan of horror, but I do like Coraline and, and Laika. Laika Animation is really good at that creepy animation. They kind of haven't, they kind of strayed away from that when they did, uh... What was it again? The one was Zachary Galifianakis and uh, Hugh Jackman. What was the name again? Missing Link. Yeah. I did like, um, there's this show on Netflix where if you like magic and horror and kind of mystery, um, I would, I would give it a try. It's called Lock and Key. Basically, it takes the premise of the myth of skeleton keys. Skeleton keys are said to uh, open any door. And so they have, like, these unique keys that do different things. I, I went in on it completely like, hmm, this sounds kind of cool. And then afterwards, after the end of the season, I'm like, oh my god, I want to know more. And I like the new Sabrina. I've been trying to catch up. I don't even think I'm done with season one yet. But, uh... I grew up with the original... Yeah. I grew up with the original, um... Christina, the Teenage Witch. And it was more comedic, you know? It was more... I don't know, silly. One of the things I kind of miss is the cat talking. I know why... They kind of want it to be more grounded in reality. But the whole idea of familiars is they're not supposed to be real animals. They're just supposed to be animals that look like real animals. I don't know, maybe it's a good thing that her familiar doesn't talk in this version. But one of the things that I'm kind of glad they didn't do, but also kind of glad that I'm kind of glad that... I don't know. I'm kind of... On the mixture of I wish they did it, but I'm kind of glad they didn't, is that her familiar was made out of a puppet originally in the original show. Some people think that, you know, it's better to have a animatronic rather than CG, but I think if you mix CG with an animatronic that it's a little bit more grounded, you know, that's what I would do. I would, I would have someone build an animatronic. And then I would have some detailed CG. You know? Sorry. 
Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> Go away. But yeah. I'm still, as a film student, I'm still trying to figure out what good lighting is, what cameras I should get. That's why I kind of ask some discords, like I'm some discords that are more uh, tech based for some advice. Like what camera should I use? What lighting should I do? You know? I want to upgrade this channel. I want to get a better camera and better. I actually have a green screen. But I haven't been able to set it up yet. I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> like, do green screens come with set backgrounds or do you have to go on a website? These things I need to know before setting it up. And if I do do a green screen, can I screenshot the game behind me? Or do I have to use a background and then do the game? You know, there's these little things that I'm still trying to figure out. It's like, could I cast my art streams behind me? Could I make a big screen for my art? I don't know. It's a coma key. Yeah. Some people say you're overthinking this. Just figure it out as you go along. And I say there's no such thing as overthinking when it comes to a stream. Everything has to be prepared in advance. That's why I prefer to do the sketches before the art stream. Do you know how long this stream would be if I did the drawing from start to finish as opposed to line art? Probably about four to eight hours. Because <laughs> it takes two hours to do the line art and then it takes another two hours or so to do the coloring. No one wants to sit here for eight hours. <laughs> Not even me. Yeah. People tend to think that I overthink things. Especially when I go to a restaurant, I'm like, people are like, just order. And I'm like, what? There's so many different variables. What if I want to get a plate that I've never tried before? What if there's a meal that they're only offering that day that's good? You know? I'll never know. I'm always a creature of habit. I'm always ordering the same things. I'm always going to the same places. Playing the same games. That's why I'm trying to do different things this year. You know? Like I wanted to get better at backgrounds. So now I've done several landscape drawings. You know, I just kind of want to try different things. I, I am still doing my character art. Because I started out as a portrait artist. And so I kind of want to get back into that. I kind of want to do my characters again. I used to have this universe of girl hero characters. And I did comics centered around them. And I kind of miss doing that. Yeah. I don't think I've done a five hour stream yet. I know I've recently hit the four hour mark when it comes to Pro Skater. Okay. Music back on.
You know, I kind of just want to... It's like, I'm a big fan of Detroit, and I love the Carter Army and stuff, but I don't, that, I don't want to just be known for that, you know? I have so many ideas and so many things I want to do, and I don't want to piss people off by going against, you know... That's what they mean when they mean undermine your audience, you know? They follow you for a reason, but sometimes an artist wants to do different things. I kind of want to do this guy to next week. I want to do the Gavin portrait and the snowy um, squirrel. And obviously, um, if you weren't here for the stream yesterday, I did this. So, it's kind of a small drawing. If I were to do something differently when it comes to doing the framed work, I think I'd use a ruler to make sure that it's centered. And people go, why framed? Why frame your artwork? And I, um, when you go into a convention, right, people want smaller drawings to, like, be made into a card or some kind of thing they can carry with them. That's kind of why I do smaller drawings sometimes. What I did for my convention last year is I decoupaged. Basically, I took some glue and I painted over the drawing so that it'd have kind of a laminate type look to it. So that when I sold it at my table, it um, had this kind of shiny effect to it, you know? Thank you, Thunder. I tend to not go into the technicalities of artwork all the time. Like, I like to explain how I arrive at a coloring so that people could try it themselves. You know, I kind of think of this stream as part chill stream, part music stream, and part art tutorial slash chill art session. And chill discussion, of course. <laughs> you know. But sometimes when you get too into the technical things, people get bored. And I don't want to bore people. I need a healthy mix, you know? A healthy balance. Yo. You know what's funny is, um, it's funny that somebody mentioned light therapy in the chill thing as a, as a discussion because I actually want a, uh, chill stream on, uh, art therapy. Because art therapy is something people don't really talk about all that much. And I feel like it's a part of therapy that I think can be more effective than just sitting down and talking. Because you'll never know what people can draw when you ask them to visualize what they're feeling, you know? Like, what does being claustrophobic make you feel? And I would probably draw a person and the walls going like this because that's how I feel sometimes when I'm on a bus or a crowded place. That's why I love the scene in Detroit when Marcus paints how he's feeling on canvas, you know? I tend to do that. I tend to draw what I feel sometimes. If I feel happy, my characters are happy. If I'm sad, they're sad. You know? Exactly. Like, I drew this Connor when I was in a good mood. So, therefore... Hey, it's me, your skin. I crave God damn. Yeah. I know what's funny is a couple of Descartes months ago, um, there was a prompt called watercolor. And so what I did is I took screenshots of Connor, Marcus, and Kara, and I wanted to edit it in a way that reflected different styles of watercolor splashes. So I made Connor's more bright and colorful. 
I made Marcus's more bright and con and abstract. And I made Kara's kind of messy, kind of like someone splashed on the page. You know? And, uh, it actually got the attention of David Cage. At first I thought it was probably like a fan account. But then when I looked down I was like, wait, what? In case you guys don't know, David Cage is the guy who created Detroit. He's like the head guy. He's basically said to me, I was a true deviant because that's the scene, that's the idea that he was going for for the Marcus scene. You know? I mean, <laughs> that's gotta feel good. Yeah. And I've been on DeviantArt for about 12 years now, so technically I'm more deviant than any of the Connor Army members. Just kidding. It's not a contest to see who's more deviant. Deviancy is an attitude, not the length. Much like punk rock. Punk rock isn't about the rock and roll, it's about sticking it to the man. Being your own person. So in a lot of ways, hip-hop and punk, punk fans should be like this, instead of fighting over who is more rebellious, you know? And I love me some Run DMC every once in a while. You know? I, I get down with it sometimes. <laughs> Yeah! Job, Thunder. And for me, that kind of solidified my... my um, authenticity on being in the fandom, you know? Because if the creator said it, then it must be true. Except for J.K. Rowling. Frick her. <laughs> All I gotta say is, as someone who had a trans friend, it was not right of her to say such things. There's absolutely no transphobia or anti-gay rights people allowed on this channel. I am asexual. I don't like to talk about that part of myself that much because society made it hard to want to talk about that kind of thing. But I shouldn't be ashamed of it. Just like I shouldn't be ashamed of being autistic. And let me just say, autism is not transferable through vaccines. Autism is a random genetic lottery. Basically, it's a genetic mutation. It can either happen randomly, or someone in your family had to have had it. And there's probably a lot more undiagnosed autistics than there are diagnosed. You know? Yeah. I stopped, I stopped posting on DA last year. It just got, you know, people don't, people kind of abandoned DA after all the changes they made. I'm kind of sad because DA was the first art community that I was a part of. And I feel like I'm undermining my fans by not posting there anymore, but... My gallery, my gallery link is down below if people are interested. But just know that I might only post there every once in a while. DA is also where you can um, read my stories. Yeah. I have, 
I have uh, spelling problems too, Thunder. I kind of miss writing, but I got so many, like, hate comments that after a while it kind of drove me to not want to write for a while. But. You no. Know, this year has also been kind of a big hit to my inspiration. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I got a lot of praise and stuff, but the problem, the problem back then when I wrote stories was that a lot of people were like, I don't think this character would do this. Or some people even said that my grammar was uncomprehensible. And I said, well, tell me where the problems are and I'll fix them, and they wouldn't respond back. So after a while, I decided to focus more on my art than my writing. I sometimes write poetry in the description of my drawings on Instagram. But that's about it. Mo my mom suggested I should make a poetry book and have the pictures that I wrote the poems with as the pictures that go alongside it. You know, I kind of like having my pictures having a story to go with it, even if it is poetry. I did that a lot during the Connor Army art months. I had little poems to go with the drawings. Now, I'm not saying I'll never write again, I'm just saying that I just need some time away from it for a while, you know? Okay, it is officially 11. Alright. I might do some retouches off camera, and uh, I'll be back on uh, Tuesday for another art stream. If you guys want to uh, join in on game night, it's on Thursday. I do art on I do art on Tuesday and gaming on Thursday every week from eight to eleven. It used to be to six to nine, but I kept on coming late, so I decided to change my schedule. Um. So I hope to see you in the near future. I'm Fire Crystal 102 Art, aka Fire. Uh, <laughs> hold, on, hold on. I'm Fire Crystal 102 Art. I do art and games. My name is Kiralee McKenzie, and I hope you create and inspire. Always strive to be the best creative person you can be, whether it be art, games, whatever you're into. It's really important that you stay inspired. And stay active and have a good time doing it. So I'll see you on Thursday for Rocket League. I'll be posting my colored pieces on Twitter and Instagram tomorrow. So um, until then, feel free to join my Discord. It's free for everyone. You don't have to be a subscriber because I don't have a subscription yet. And um, maybe I'll make a subscriber channel. Um, what I do unlock them. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this chill session of Art Vibes. And I hope you tune in for Rocket League on Thursday. See ya.